Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You know the old coaching adage, when you pass, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. So these two coaches do their best to eliminate the bad and emphasize the good. And good to them is running the football effectively. That's the identity of both of these squads who can establish their will will determine the outcome of this game. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. You'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. White fields it at the three. At the 30, he's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That's a team of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none. That third and eight. Number 12 comes in quarterback. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Back's got it on the quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Good, good possession there for the defense. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Didn't get all of that one. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Austin's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. Now he pitches it. And he's finally brought down at the 28-yard line. How do you like that run? That big fullback made this defense look bad on that play. He's at the 20. He makes his way out to about the 12. Rice has got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. Run there. Touchdown. 
Touchdown, Owls. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Volunteers had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Gates, he had a touchdown catch. Louisville is victorious, 24-21. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. The Falcons quarterback down there on the sideline. And, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. A tackle made at the 28-yard line. Rice is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's second and 12. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 48 yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 48 Set. Oklahoma. and they make the stop at about the 49 that makes it second and eight another third down. They go to the ground and he stops short. That makes it fourth and four. Perry to punt. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Rice is up a score. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Taken down around the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. 
Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Owl. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Austin's the kind of athlete that you can build your entire offense around. His athleticism, second to none. We'll see if they have an answer for him today. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Rice is up seven. Nice run up the middle. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. yards here and they back up three yards on that play not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that we're at play number nine of this current drive pickup. He launches one for the end zone. They'll call on the field goal unit. Rice can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the way. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And now he pitches it. Good outside run there. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Down! Move for it. He makes his way to about the 48. I'm a little surprised that they ran the option using the fullback, but he certainly made the most of his opportunity. Got an opening. Brought 
down at about the 37 yard line. About two minutes before halftime. They go to the screen here, and the halfbacks got it. They bring him down in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 11. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30, slides down to the ground. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Air Force is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 29-yard line, third down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. seven-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He scrambled. And he's tackled at about the five-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. Ball's coming out quick. Second down and goal. Ball on the five. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Horned Frog taking the field in Fort Worth. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. Tulsa leading the way, 24-20. And for Rice, they played TCU a week ago. We've still got a half of football remaining. Rice's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football play towards that strength 
don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 34. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Rice is up by a touchdown. On the ground with a tailback. Makes it to the 47. Fires it out. Tackle right around the 34. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 19 yard line. First down. Oklahoma! Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. the 17-yard line. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 17-yard line. He's in trouble. And he tackles him hard at the 8-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Rice! And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 67-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's taken down with the 17-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 10. He tackles him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And he's hit immediately. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's a short kick. The Owls aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall and much better here in the second half. 
the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Gets out to around the 28. First down. He has some room. He makes his way to about the 18. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check back, check back, back, six, back, six. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the four yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. That brings them second and goal. Touchdown, Owls. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Perfect job there of spreading out that defense and then going to the ground game. And he hits the PAT. Smith gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they hit him in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 20. He's out to the 30. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Him hard at the 32 yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away. Short punt. Ratliff fields it at the 42. He makes it to the 42-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Has some daylight. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 27. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. 
That brings up second and 13. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Rice has got a three touchdown advantage. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Set, blue 19. Cut. Nice catch, first down, he's knocked out. That makes it first and ten. Tackle after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of seven yards. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Set, Oklahoma. Tackle made around the eight-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And he's taken down at the 18. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? A little toss across the middle. Brought down right around the 20. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. away here on third down just under three to go in regulation he's hit and taken down Four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After, After review of the, the play, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Ready! Blue 88! 
He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. Just under two minutes in the game. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 16. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Tenth play of the drive. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That's good for a game three yards. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And they're looking to get two points here. They put everyone up on the line. Unable to convert that two-point conversion on the ground. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Sooners entered the game ranked in the top five in the nation. Teams ranked just behind them, starting to apply the heat. Can they hold their spot at number five? And for Oklahoma, they scored through the air. Oklahoma has the edge, 7-0. In another game, the Nittany Lions had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. And for Minnesota, they won their first game of the year. And for Bates, he rushed for a touchdown. Minnesota gets the win, 28-21. All right, Reese, back to our game. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Boy, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Under a minute left. Feeds it to the back. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. Big time touchdown on the ground for what looks to be the score that puts this one on ice. And he tacks on the extra point. Rice is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 21. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. And about the 23-yard line. Wilson 
Comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Let's go! That's a great tackle at the 20. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. We have less than a minute to go. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Return for a gain of 29 yards. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. This one's in the books, and our final score, 34-9, Owl. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.